you will, I just know it. And we'd appreciate it if you'd leave your beer bong at home. Whoa, are you effing serious? Family strip, family strip. <laughs> and this made people way angrier than the family circus. Here, here is a typical letter that I got in response. We received, they wrote this to the newspaper, we received your paper for many years and as a whole like and appreciate your tradition. But I must speak out about the classless and vulgar Pearl's comic strip. As a family of six, we have always reached for the comics as a refreshing break to start our day, since we love good humor. <laughs> Pearl's is anything but. And though I have asked the kids to avoid reading that particular strip, so that they are not exposed to its violent, beer-drinking, substance-abusing, crass characters, it is increasingly difficult to do so when some of our favorite characters from Baby Blues are seen within its panels. And this current series of the Baby Blues characters is most disturbing of all, bordering on the deliberate encouragement of child endangerment, underage drinking, and murderous driving. It's disgusting. Mr. Passis needs to find some other way to vent his vulgarity. Now, sometimes I write back to these people that write the complaints. For example, I got complaints about this comic strip. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, suffice it to say that it shows Rat blowing a hookah pipe. Now, mind you, in the Friday strip, right before this strip, I went out of my way to say that Rat was smoking tobacco. It's got to be tobacco, so I said he was smoking tobacco. Uh, that didn't stop people from writing to me with letters like this. Hello, Stefan Pastis. I'm emailing you in regards to this morning's comic strip titled Pearls Before Swine. I hope I'm not the only one to mention this to you, but I feel that today's strip was very inappropriate. The main characters, a pig and a rat, are blowing smoke from a bong pipe to make shapes in the air, giving the natural impression that they're smoking the pipe. Now, you guys call pipes, you smoke marijuana in bong pipes, right? Okay, so she thinks they're smoking marijuana. I'm sure that children read this comic strip, and I feel very outraged at this ridiculous display. I know that I was one who read the comics as a child, and I obviously still do. I love when she gets like this. I want this complaint to be taken into consideration and to be handled seriously. This is no joke. <laughs> Comics may be funny, but this time you took it too far. So I wrote back, and I thought I was very nice and straightforward, and all I said was, read the Friday strip. They are smoking tobacco. But then she decided to write back, and this time she said, uh, it would figure that someone who writes sleazy jokes for a living couldn't grasp the simple concept. It doesn't matter what they're smoking. You don't seem to realize that children will be reading it. So, I wrote back again. <laughs> First, you spelled sleazy wrong. Second, are you smoking pot as you write these emails? <laughs> Third, Miss Bad Speller, I got the idea for today's strip from Alice in Wonderland. So if you're done writing inane emails, you might want to get the book removed from the children's section of your local library. Now, um, by the way, I don't want you to think that Pearls is without its fans. It does um, have them. It has its supporters around the country. Uh, as you can see here in this article from a newspaper in Utah, it's called the Ogden Standard Examiner. This is real. I didn't make this up. <laughs> um, as Jeremy Valdez faces the death penalty in a double homicide, he recently emailed a letter to the Standard Examiner, much to the surprise of lawyers on both sides. Commenting on a June 25th hearing on a motion to suppress his confession to the murders, Valdez comments on a police officer's testimony against him, calling another officer drunk on the stand, and attacks the credibility of his co-defendant. She is the main witness against him and is already serving a 20-year prison term for her guilty pleas in the murder case. Valdez also faults the standard examiner's coverage and concludes by casting votes for cartoons under consideration by the newspaper. <laughs> Quote, while I have you here, my friends and I would like to request that you bring back the comic <laughs> <laughs> But the mother of all controversies, the creme de la creme, was this seemingly harmless little strip about a llama, which wasn't even that funny. I, I didn't think anything would ever come of this, but I will show it to you. Pig says, who's your tall friend? And Rat says, Attitur, the llama. He's a diplomat. And Pig says, a diplomat, how wonderful. So what's his method for handling disputes? Friendly meetings, building trust, making compromises, and llamas doing what they do, spits in Pig's eye, and Pig says, I prefer friendly meetings. Anybody want to guess the complaint on this one? It was the use of the name Attitur. Um, Ataturk is a revered, almost godlike figure in Turkey. 
it is a crime in Turkey to criticize him. I knew none of that at the time. I knew he had something to do with Turkey and the founding of Turkey, but really, I just liked the sound of the name, Ataturk. That is a little bit funny, but here's where it gets complicated. I am a Greek American, and Turks and Greeks don't get along. <laughs> so, as a result, I got over 2,400 emails about this stupid strip, and they weren't exactly friendly emails. <laughs> they looked like this. Do you really think that you are effing funny? Read a lot, learn a lot information about Ataturk. Stop, provoke, Turkish nation, you moron. There's <laughs> another one. If it were not for Ataturk, Turkey now would be another Iran, you hate monger idiot. <laughs> and these are the ones I can show you. So whatever, I get a lot of email from a lot of people who misunderstand the, misunderstood the comic, and that's the end of the story. Right? Wrong. Guess who this is from? <laughs> the Turkish ambassador to the United States. <laughs> and he wasn't happy either. <laughs> How all of this happened, I didn't quite know. I just seemed to have angered an entire nation. And all I knew for certain at that strange moment was that I had sure come a long way from my days of doing bicycle safety. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah.